Ganesh. Today we are going to present about optical CDMA for future optical communication system. I'm going to present introduction of our project. CDMA is a one of family of transmission technique generally called spread spectrum. In this technique, the network resources are shared among users which are assigned a code instead of the time slot like a CDMA or the wavelength WDMA. Then users are capable of assessing the resource using the same channel at the same time. The concept of spread spectrum like a CDMA seem to coordinate normal insertion since in a most communication system we try to maximize the amount of usable signal we can fit into a minimum bandwidth. In CDMA, we transmit multiple signals over the same spectrum band using the same modulation technique at the same time. Traditional thinking would suggest the communication would not be possible in this environment. The method by which OCDMA system work can be described as following first unicode sequence pitch is multiplied with each bit. The present as recognized at the receiving at the end is used to demodulate the receiving data. And the most important element for correct detection and the expectation to be ideally orthogonal and to, to have zero crosstalk with the code sequence of any code user. The second one, spectrum coding. Present a sequence different wavelength obtained from the single broadband optical source which divided into numerous narrow optical wavelengths. The third one, time spreading code. Present a sequence of the position of time slot for a given number of time. Thank you. Hello, I am Zunaira. Today I would like to present about smart detection is achieved by going through the following steps. Step 1. Every data should be input by employing a unique code sequence for time spending of each data bit and or by separately encoding of a, a data bit. The step 2. All the encoded signals are fit into the star, couple, stimulus, kit, green, and scroll learning. Step 3. The mixed signal goes through the star coupler for an instant which is not fixed. And the last step is each of the encoder signal is the encode displayed at one of the receiving and simultaneously with the head of the decoder which function, function is basically the opposite of corresponding encoder. Thus, the data signal is recovered from the encode signal as datable data bits from the user data they are through the encoder and the star after that is go to star coupler and then go to decoder and photo detector and lastly we are going to optical steroid element that's all for me thank you hi assalamualaikum my name is Nurain and i will be present about the advantage of OCDMA. Number one, bandwidth. In OCDMA, users can access equal portion of available channel bandwidth. Here, the bandwidth equally is shared by all other users and can be divided into virtual channels. Consequently, the, OC the OCDMA system users can equally share access of the available resource of the network. Number two, value added service. OCDMA use different types of optical codes. In this way, various services for different types of traffic can be easily introduced. OCDMA plays an important role in providing customized or value-added service to its user. Security If an OCDMA system is considered with 41 wavelengths and 961 time chips, it will require, it will require 1,350 years trying all possible combinations before the code could be broken. All optical communication. OCDMA system encodes and decodes signal from different users optically. 
The messages are converted to optical signals at the source end and are retrieved as electronic signal after transmission has completed. Number five, security performance. The signal transmitting in OCDMA network is multiplex signal of various users. The spread spectrum technology guarantees the received signal at any receiving end is multiplex and can only be demultiplexed when the address goes the address sequence are strictly matched. Number six, low cost. OCDMA system adopts wide band optical source. The web the wavelength has not to be precisely manipulated. Number seven, asynchronous access. OCDMA system allows various users to access the same channels asynchronously. The signal of new user acts act directly onto multiple signal vector. No synchronization between different users and wavelength adjustability made. Moreover, the requirements of burst and high rate transmission in lines can be satisfied since the awaiting time before medium accessing is negligible. That's all. Thank you. Hello, Assalamualaikum. I am Nur Atiyah Bidah again. Now, it's my turn to present about the drawbacks of OCDMA. In spite of their many, their many advantages, OCDMA systems suffer from several drawbacks which may be summarized as follows. First, noise. Big and short noise are both technological barriers of the physical channels which degrade the, perform the performance of the OCDMA networks. Big and short noise are not appearing on the same wavelength in the case of multiple access. This is why, for a fixed receiver, the energy is used for a single channel wavelength. On the other hand, in OCDMA system, the total bandwidth is distributed. This is why the big and short noise may be introduced in the wavelength of the same transmission channel. In OCDMA, with the same wavelengths, the channel bandwidth is allocated, which is the optical power from other users which drive the short noise. The short noise is defined as the optical root square of the least power and is directly proportional to the number of users. This is type of noise reduces the stability of the OCDMA network. Second one, error correction. Forward error correction is costly and unusable in OCDMA because the speed of carrying for carrying the information in electrical cables and optical fiber is not is not safe. For this reason, we have to design specialist encoding and or decoding device in order to correct the errors in case of optical signal transmission. Last but not least. Encoding and decoding. The encoding broadband and decoding hardware is expensive for OCDMA for generation of large number of wavelengths. The broadband LED is the cheapest option, but the light generate may not have a high enough intensity for OCDMA application both the laser direct array and the EDFA option have the required power but are currently expensive. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello. I am Nina Abikash Padri Binti Abdul Now my turn to present. As a conclusion, the optical code division multiple access for CDMA is a multiplexing or multiple access technique adapted from the successful implementation in wireless network. In OCDMA system, each user is assigned with a sequence code that serves as its address. An optical CDMA user modulates its code or address to which data bit and asynchronously initiate transmission. Hence, this modified its spectrum address in a way recognizable only be the intended receiver. Otherwise, only noise like bursts are observed. All CDMA system encode and decode signal data from different user optically. It guarantees the received signal at any receiver and is multiplex and can only be demultiplex when the exact sequence are strictly matched. That's all for me. Thank you.